The Fadden by-election has returned a Liberal National Party representative to Federal Parliament in Cameron Caldwell, a long-time Gold Coast City Councillor and Party member. And there's no doubt that his platform of keeping the pressure on Labor to take action to reduce the cost of living and of supporting policies to reduce crime and increase safety really resonated with locals. Labor tried to make the by-election a referendum on the former MP, Stuart Robert, rather than an invitation for locals to tell Labor what they think of persistently high inflation with little action to curb it. But locals declined that invitation to do so, with the coalition even achieving a swing toward it of what will likely land it at around 4 to 5 per cent once all preferences and postals have been taken into account. In a field of 12 candidates, preferences presented a real risk of trouble for the LNP. But with the Greens and One Nation both losing ground and lacklustre performances from independents, that prospect didn't materialise. Labor have been keen to downplay the result, with Minister Richard Miles describing it as lethargic. It's an odd way to describe a swing against the government of some substance, but there you are. With a Queensland state election due in October next year, what does this result tell us about what to expect at that poll? Opposition leader David Chrisafulli said this. But does this victory give you confidence, though? It, it shows that people are hungry for change, and there is no doubt that the message that was sent today was against brand labour. And the people who are coming in today were expressing their frustrations. It'll be important to ensure that this result doesn't make expectations for the state election spin too high or out of control. Yes, there is a pathway to an LNP victory at that state election, but it'll take hard work, courage and discipline in spades to overcome Labor's gerrymander and their huge team of spin doctors. David Chrisafulli and the team are tracking well, no doubt, but there's no room for complacency and there's no room for error. Most people don't realise that it takes around 55% of the vote to have the effect of getting majority for the LNP at state level because of the impact of Labor's gerrymander. Getting over the line next October will require a monumental effort. That said, the contrast between the outcome in the Aston by-election and in Fadden, well, they couldn't be more different. In Aston which is a marginal seat with a buffer that had been built through the hard work of a locally popular coalition MP in Alan Tudge, the result for Labor came while Mr Albanese's honeymoon period was well and truly still underway. And while Fadden is admittedly a much safer seat for the coalition, with a 10.6% margin before yesterday's poll, that's going to grow once the final result of this by-election is tallied, the fact of a swing at all, well, it says a lot. It's normal for there to be a haircut of a few percent when a sitting member retires, even when it is an opposition-held seat um, that's being contested. The swing to the coalition tells us, though, that Labor's honeymoon is over, that the pain of the cost of living is biting, that voters resent being badgered about constitutional change when they're struggling to afford meat for dinner. People are, for the most part, cluey enough to tell the difference between a state and a federal election and the issues and personalities involved. But there's no denying that there was in this poll a sign of seeping resentment from state Labor's persistent incompetence and scandal. That should encourage and motivate David Chrisafulli and the state LNP to go hard in the year to come. But it's a long way from time yet to assume Queenslanders will get the change they so desperately need on George Street.